With no cure and few treatments, thousands of people fighting mesothelioma have little hope. But now, Dr. Maria Simber reports a revolutionary treatment is helping patients live longer. Navy veteran Terry O'Keefe was enjoying retirement with cross-country RV trips to the national parks. But something was wrong. I go from the shower to the bed and almost passed out. He went to the hospital and was diagnosed on the road, then diagnosed again in Erie a rare type of cancer called mesothelioma. It comes from the lining of the lungs and is associated with asbestos exposure decades before. Terry got surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation, the mainstays of treatment. But they don't work that well. The prognosis is typically 12 to 15 months. Then Terry's doctor offered him something new, FDA approved late last year, a wearable device called Optune. And I said, yes, anything I can do. To prolong my life. I got stuff we're trying to do. There are four electrode pads, two on the front and then there's two on the back. It's hooked up to a generator and a battery pack and the electrical field goes in this direction. Uh, so it crosses in an X type pattern across the patient's chest. It uses alternating electrical currents a few hundred times a minute. This interferes with the rapidly dividing cancer cells. It only works when the device is on, so patients need to wear it as much as possible, ideally 18 hours a day. It was approved based on non-randomized phase two trials showing an increased life expectancy to 18 months. The main side effect, skin irritation. It burns my skin. My skin's all rashed up. Was there any issue getting it covered by insurance? Yes, they won't cover it. Medicare doesn't currently have a policy regarding the use of the device, um, so, Oftentimes it, it is not covered, um, but what the company has in place is they have a patient support program. Terry is followed with CT scans and the pads are adjusted to target any tumor that has escaped. Right now, I can still walk. I'm still cut down trees, but I'm still doing things. And I'm not ready to give up. He hopes his experience helps the next guy. I'm Dr. Maria Simbra, KDKA News.